Oh, right, right. Got to do the voodoo magic. Get this thing started up. Any day now? All righty. All righty. Um, so I'm starting a little bit early to today. That's the way I came. Uh, got a little bit of glare on my screen. Let me see. We're going to... We're going to fight over here. I like that spot. Hey. Uh huh. Keep it down. Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. Whoa, whoa, look. I need you to book it. Right, I need uh, some whelps. I need some wisps. Oh, we've got someone in the back lines. All right, unpause, please. Uh, do we got all of our summons off? Looks like we do. I need you guys to kill this guy. He's all up in our faces. Alright, you're taking some damage here. Where's my whelps? I don't see whelps. Uh, that's a worm. Oh, okay. That's that's one of my whelps. I guess they all died. Uh, you go ahead and move you here. All right, all right. You know, I I, I really want to hold position button really badly. Okay. Oh. So, Move here. Cast this. Alright, I need you guys to attack this guy. Alright, we got all the worms out. Alright, we're getting bodied. Oh, you got dropped. These guys are pretty tough. We're in a sticky situation. I'm glad I walked all the way back here, but with these guys teleporting like this, uh, I'm not in a good spot here. All right, well, you're gonna die. Apparently you're out of spells. I don't know what you were using. I guess I'm just gonna have to put her on manual because she's just not doing what I need her to do. Uh, oh, we have resurrection magic, though. So, I just need people to survive. How about we get a lay on hands on her? Okay, excellent. Um... We do kind of need worms right now. Really badly. Then pop one of those. I uh, need some worms. With another lay on hands. Oh, 
Are you ever gonna cast this way on hands? Holy crap. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that. Go ahead and pop one of those. Uh, we got many whelps in here. All right, our healer is dead. This fight is done. Too many people in the back line. I had the right idea. Just... Oh, she's back up somehow. Don't know how that happened, but it happened. All right, now you're back up. We need uh, we need some wisps. Looks like we're not gonna be getting any wisps anytime soon. So lay on hands, please. And she's dead. It's all falling apart. All right, my guy is dead now. And you're dead. <laughs> and you're dead. Can he do this by himself? Fight like 12 dudes. Oh, okay. He's out of there. All right. Well, then. That was rough. I guess the game's not going to officially give me a game over here. Okay. Well... Again, I had the right idea, but it seems that they can teleport or whatever, and so things just kind of went downhill uh, from there. Uh, I'm going to try that again, though. I think we can make this work. Jody wants to talk, but I don't want to talk. I'm here. Okay. Of course. We're gonna go here. What for, Captain? Uh, happy to oblige. What do you need? Good thinking. Looks like trouble. Ready. You're gonna go here. We're gonna summon whelps here. Summon wisps here. Once more, you're walking back over there. I trust you. Don't actually. Maybe have you go right there. Okay. Everybody come on out. Alright, this is much better. There's someone out there, that's fine. You're stuck. That's hilarious. Go ahead and summon resummon the wisps. It looks like I only pulled two. Which is a big component to that fight. Being a victory. Yes. Indeed. Let's uh try this again. Ahoy. Uh. Yeah. Quick save. I ain't going through that anymore. Ready? Move you there. Many whelps. And wisps. Hey. Something I can trust you. Great. Stay behind me. 
I don't need you casting it. It looks like it's safe to come outside, so let's kill. That, that hit nobody. Am I gonna retrain you too? Oh, you getting bodied! And you not get bodied. Just cast that on him so he doesn't die. Excellent. Alrighty, same formation, everybody. Uh huh. Did great. Uh, we killed four. There's like twenty more. I think we might be able to uh, to just fight them as normal now. Trouble up ahead. Go ahead and run after it. Alright. I need some whelps. I need some wisps. Looks like, uh... It's like it was just one. Keep it down. Alright, I don't know where the 10 million of them came from last time then. Because there were a lot. Oh, yeah, quick save. Place seems pretty big. Old city ruins. Don't want to leave just yet. Would like to clear the floor if possible. I think I can't see you, you sneaky bastard. Oh. Go ahead. Reposition here. Ahoy. Aye, aye. I'm here. I got it. Great. Ooh. That's a dude over there. Alright, I need you to go right here. Have you go right there. You can go right there. I'm in many whelps. Please do not disappoint me. Oh, she casted her thing on absolutely nothing. Alrighty, so we charmed that guy, which messes up stuff. Oh my gosh, this is a lot more people than I needed. Um, I want you to cast your mind control on that guy. Alright, we failed. Alright, you're you're taking some damage. Uh, I need a retarget on the mad harvester, please. You are casting this. Go ahead and move it out. 
Oh, no, I, I guess it's fine right there. What you gonna do about it? All right, you... Go ahead and move forward. Pop one of these. All right, you're casting mind control again. Bill trying to get the harvester. Alrighty. Want you to back on up. Bill don't have harvester. You just keep failing. I want you to move up. I need some whelps in the back here. Um, use this. Oh, really? Uh, one percent? Oh, hey, that actually worked. Um, let's go ahead and pop one of those. Nice, nice. How are we doing? Alright, cool. You're finally guessing on that guy and failing. Why don't we get you guys to go attack? Yeah. Just, just be a problem for him. Hey, that guy's dead. I want you guys to kill that. Yes, you're running out of duration here. I was about to say, these guys have a lot of hit points. No, I cannot do that. Come on, any day now. All right, beautiful. <clears throat> Got some loot. Minus five diplomacy. Corpse eater only. Of course. Thanks for the loot. The Lord's foot and an heavy bullet, our cap. Boy. Actually, see what's over there because there's glare on my screen. Not, not like a crazy glare or anything like that. Just a, a light glare. I got a, uh, I think it's Matt. A light's foot and an heavy bullet, our cap. Right, what's up here? Actually seems like something I could wear. Put it on nope, I guess not you.
on you either. It is medium. I guess it's just it's just whatever item. Shockingly enough. I thought it would be better. Uh what proficiencies do you have? War bow. And you have hunting bow. And you have crossbow. Well, the reload time on that is not very long at all. Neither is that. The range just sucks on the hand mortar. I'd rather give him a bow. What did I say it was for him? War bow. Got a war bow right there. It's the only one we have. There you go. All right, and you are the hunting bow, but you're using this. And that's pretty good. So I guess we'll keep her with uh, the pistole. Certainly don't want her in the face of people. Yeah. Okay, we're in good hands here. So, moving on. Doesn't look suspicious at all. Let's move back. Hey, good thinking. This just looks too suspicious. Don't like it. Well, well, well. Stacking plus 2% crit chance on hit. That is mighty fine. Corrupted Adra Animat. Well then. Looks like trouble. Oh, yep, see? See? I know what I'm doing. Right, many whelps. Wisps. Alright, I need you to pop this. What does this even do again? Uh, it's not very good. the charms off here. Go ahead and attack this ghoul. I don't need you uh, using that. Alright, so all of you... Oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> How about we, uh, we, we, we stay back? Go okay. back. You to move back, move back. You get to move back. Cause that is a lot of freaking dudes. I was just gonna go ham on it, but that's a lot of freaking dudes. Please stay back. Right. 
not being stealth. Say your prayers. Can you not use both of these abilities? Oh my gosh, look how many enemies those that is. Alright, I'm 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 taking off your your thing. Alright, you're moving right here. Hey, you're facing forward. I'm taking off your AI. You are gonna move right here. And this is how we're gonna roll. Uh, 14 seconds on those. Alright, good. You're summoning them in the middle of everything. Alright, looks like there's a little bit more room there than I was hoping. So, we run the risk of being flanked. How do I want to treat this? I could move back. We have this bubble here. I think we can cast another one. We cannot cast another one. What does the bubble do? Yeah, 15 seconds. Pretty good. We did mind control this one though. Uh, I want some wisps in the back. I don't want to be casting that. Alright, we are being flanked. So, let's move back. I want you here. You here. I want you there. You're gonna move here. You're gonna move... there. Are you gonna move? Uh. You are stuck. No, I cannot do that. No, oh no. Sentieri, I cannot. You are totally surrounded. I guess we're gonna cast that on you. Gonna cast whelps here. And wisps here. Are about to die, and you did not cast what I told you to cast. That would be enough. Alright. Back up, back up, back up. Need you to engage this guy, thank you. Alrighty. Need those guys right there. We're not gonna be able to resurrect her. Okay, where's our healer? Right there. We're gonna have you move right there. And we're gonna cast this. Right, I need you two to kill this guy. Alrighty, I need many whelps. I don't even know why you're casting that. Right, we got a charm off. I want you to face the front. I do not want you to cast... That right there. This, this thing needs to stop moving around. This is uh, becoming a little bit too much. Uh, 
Can we kill this guy, please? Cast another one of these. Alright, why don't you back off? Why don't we summon skeletons? Oh, this guy decided to follow. Let me get a retarget on him. Stuck over here. Down. Oh dear. They just kind of poured in. And I'm not sure how. What happened to our tank? I guess he got pushed? here. Back here. Heal yourself. Then I need you to move back there. Alright. You are Jyoti. I need you to move. You are not moving. You are not moving. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Can you move now? Thank you very much. I need whelps inside there. This is gonna be tricky. I need a uh, mind control on this guy. How about that? Um, you're casting this on yourself. We got the dominate. Oh, I cannot control this guy. See if I can sneak a resurrection. I'm gonna wait this out. You're doing pretty good on your own. Let's lay on hands yourself. Still don't want you casting that. Oh my gosh, that is. That has no range. It's gonna aggro those two guys. Really? Yeah, you, were, you, you couldn't just run over and fight that gang. Let's see how it is. Alright, you're getting bodied now. Pull up your shield here. What attacking thing. Oh. 
want everybody to attack this guy. Okay. I think we're actually winning this. Oh, we got the, uh, whatchamacallit, so we don't need whelps right now. Alright, let's run over here. Resurrect! Back. I need you to heal yourself. Like, something is being targeted over here. Oh. We'll kill that. Ah! Your body. Kill that, please. That, was... that, like an explosion. Freaking dudes. Munin's broad belt. Plus two to athletics. That would go great on you if you weren't already using this wonderful belt right here. I guess we'll give it to you. Actually, no. I'm going to give it to me. Um, so you're using this, which is 19 to 28. This one is better from that. Oh, that gives me minus five, minus five will. That's me pale light though. What is pale light? I was looking at that, right? Right? No, I was looking at it wrong. Are you proficient with sabers? Well, isn't this brilliant? You are! Hooray! Give you that. And let's see... Everybody has a summon except for you, so I guess I'll just give you this. Stay the heck with it. Okay. Of course. Well, that was crazy. Let's save. The gullet falls. To... I see that it's an area of interest, but I'm not able to do anything with that area of interest. That's all of that. I gotta sneeze here in a, a moment. Oh, we need a rest as well. 
So let's rest. Get through this as best as possible. I'm gonna have to turn on the light here and uh more than my eyes be open. Go ahead and stealth. Ooh. This doesn't look good. Next to the sealed door is a statue of a woman, cracked and overgrown with moss. Both of her arms are extended towards you, or toward you, but one of her hands is missing. You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. It's the cornet of waves, a sound like a gentle, crashing surf is coming from the conch. Uh, inspect the statue first. It looks like a Huana representation of Andra. Her robes hang fr hang like sheets from or sheets of water, pooling around her feet like rippling currents. You examine the spot where her hand is would be should be. Reading is hard. Uh, yet the stone of her empty sleeve feels smooth, as if her sculptor had never shaped a hand there to begin with. Her only hand is open, palm up, as if to receive something. The sound of waves grow louder and stronger. Place the conch on the statue's open hand. As you do, the thunderous percussive music of a stormy sea spills out of the conch. It rises into a wordless melody that reminds you of a of voices heard from underwater. As the song reaches its crescendo, a deeper rumble fills the air and rattles through your bones. You take the shell back as the music fades. Hey. Hey. So. I have seen what that is before, and this should be fun. Hello. I was going to say, apparently it's not there anymore. Hard to be if really been making a lad feel inadequate. Uh, not quite what I was hoping, but let's go ahead and fight. I want those guys there. Want those guys there. What happened to you? Great. Oh, you just uh, took a million damage. That's what happened to you. Does have a duration? It does. Let's open up with that. And I guess I gotta give everybody their, their AI back. Alrighty, first order of business. Let's plop one of these. Second order of business. We need to clear out these burrows. Those burrows. It's the time on you guys. Fifteen seconds. Alrighty. You're summoning that right there. That's a horrible idea. And you there. I don't 
really want you... Well, I guess you could cast that. I'd rather you attack that guy. Alright, you're getting bodied. So... Move... Move there. Then you can cast this. You can move back. Alrighty, you. Alright, we got the charm. I still want you to attack this grub just because the grub is irritating. Alright, and as much as I would like those to exist up there, don't want them to exist over there. Summon some risk from behind the flank. Let's do that. Uh, you're taking a lot of damage here. Move up. Okay, I want you to move. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just gonna summon grubs. Let's summon whelps over there. Uh, that is precisely what I don't want you to do. As a matter of fact, I want you to auto attack, please. Move you up when we need you. All right, we got we got some uh, some grubs, many grubs. I don't like how close you are. Move back. Oh, oh, we we mind controlled the boss. That's just hilarious. I need you to still attack the boss, though. I need uh, I need all of you guys to uh, attack the boss. Thank you. Uh, I need you to be appreciated. you to cast some welts. It would definitely be helpful if you engage this guy. Is this? And some wisps over there. All right, you just took a ton of damage. seconds on you. Uh -uh, didn't work. I think we mind controlled the boss. Uh -uh, didn't work. I can't see him. back here. Move you there. Move you there. Over here. 
All of you guys in the back. It's a really big ordeal. Get these things to happen the way you want them to. Alright, this this boss fight is not as difficult as I was led to believe. Maybe my party composition is just crazy. Um, I'm gonna let this roll while I turn on the light here. Okay. You're going after the healer. All right, you're charmed. All right, be right back. Okay, we're not all dead yet. All right. I'm the boss. Gotta kill the boss. Why don't you come over here? No. That was very bad. Why don't you come over here? Start healing them. Hey, I want you to attack the boss, not that enemy. That would be great. Hey, what's up, Two Face? Playing Fortnite or not Fortnite? Why did I say Fortnite? Uh, Darwin Project. You playing Darwin Project today? Uh, how are we doing here? We're doing okay. Got uh, many more whelps, and let's get some more wisps. On the other side here. Ooh, you are getting destroyed over here. Um. Let's go for a heal instead. Alright, excellent. Ooh, you got hit pretty hard there. Say, can we get these wisps, please? Pop that. Is it dead? Hey, we killed the boss. Take that. That's too loud for me. All right, we we got this right. Uh, nah. They're kind of sick. Oh no! Ooh, you bought that game? All right. I heard some some good things about that game. So that's a pretty crazy game. Here we go. How's my day so far? It's pretty good. It's it's a Friday. Fridays are wonderful. Greatly enjoy Fridays, and I am. Well, I, it's a Friday. One more needs to be said, I guess. One more. <laughs> Overall, not very spectacular things for doing this. What about your, uh, your Friday thus far? How is it treating you other than the sickness? What was that? Uh, a cracked, dirt-rimmed carving dominates the wall. In it, two hands rise from curling waves. Sockets, like the one in the hand of the statue outside the temple, have been carved into the hollow palms. Both are empty. You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. It's the cornet of waves, a sound like a gentle crashing surf 
is coming from the conch. Um, well, spoilers, I already know that, well, we need two conches to open this door, and I only have one, so I need to find the other one, and I have no idea where to get it, so, let's go find it. Yeah? Well, don't see why not. Also, quick save? Oh, there is a chest here. How do you get right there? Oh, wait, no, never mind, that's... A different chest. Mine stiletto. Have I explored over here? Looks like I've explored almost everything. Trust you. Easy now. Any whelps over here? Oh, is that an enemy? I like that was an enemy. Trying to recuperate as much as possible. You don't like feeling sick. Being sick is definitely one of the worst feelings in the world. I do not envy. Oh, that that's just an, an enemy we already killed. So it looks like we did clear this place. We didn't really explore over here, so we'll go over here real quick. Uh, yeah, being sick is, is one of the worst things in the world. Uh, I, I used to get sick uh, a decent amount, down. but now I don't. And I don't think it's my my diet, because I have like the worst diet in the world. You know, I, I drink tea all day. I don't drink water. I don't really eat junk food anymore. I mean, you know, there, there's occasions where, you know, it's some, some candy or something like that, but for the most part, I, I stay away from the junk food. But other than that, I have no idea. So, let's go over here. Grab that first. Money. By the way, you've seen the Blood Moon and Darwin Project. How funny would it be for the show director? You start a Blood Moon and then you play the Lion King intro. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, you just pop the microphone. Oh man, that would be pretty wonderful. There's, there's like one specific thing that I just want to do as a show director. I don't want to shout cast the games. I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to give people trivia questions. I just want to ask them very specific, specific questions. Keeping an eye out. All right, what do we got over here? This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I definitely didn't see any streamers go over this way. <laughs> Your sickness is an inside job. <laughs> oh, isn't it always? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Hey, stop! What are you doing, you fat fingered oaf? Put me down! I've heard rumors of a talking sword. And I think we just found it. Uh, the sword twists and turns in your hand, trying in vain to wriggle out of your grasp. The word mod modweer is etched and gilded at the base of the blade. <laughs> I like number three, but uh, we're going to go with one. Ah, it speaks. It mimics your voice in a mocking, sing-song manner. Idiot. It mumbles under its breath. What breath? It's a sword. I like this sword. Can we keep it? Keep your filthy paws off me. Uh, Modweer huffs in irritation and turns over in your hand. Now, if you don't mind, I'm waiting for someone very important who is definitely coming back any 
day now. And you won't want to be here when she does. Who are you waiting for? My owner, obviously. Well, we're groans, clearly disgusted with you. It's really a wonder you've managed to survive to the ripe old age of whatever you are, being this stupid. A belligerent sword, fascinating. But my owner, she was really great. I mean, is really great. Her calluses felt so good on my grip. Oh, I can do things with a sword you wouldn't believe. Oh my goodness. All right, man, enjoy your cooking. Thanks for stopping by. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the show, director. It's going to be a slow grind to get there because I still got to reach level 10 and I'm like level 4 or something like that. But I'm going to get there sooner or later. Um, show me. I'm a quick study. Modweer makes dramatic, retching noises pretending to throw up. Actually, even though you're clearly little more than a ham-handed halfwit, maybe you can do something for me. I'll let you handle me, but only under one condition. You have to help me find my owner. Okay? It presses itself into your palm, slowly warming to your touch. Am I supposed to wander around Eora questioning every random swordswoman I come across? What you do is your business. I don't know if I can trust you yet. You need to prove your worth to me first. This is definitely the voice actor of Jyoti. 100%. I... I, I can I can hear it. Um, how would I do that? Well, stick me in some monsters. What the fuck else is a sword good for? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, is that what you really want? I, I wouldn't hate it. Monterey warms slightly against your palm, almost as if it were blushing. You heft the sword, testing its weight. It's a finely wrought weapon, though it has seen better days. All it needs is a bit of polishing. You scabbard it and continue on your way. That is... that is cool. I found the talking sword. Modweer. It does some pretty pitiful damage. Restricted to the Watcher. It's not even that good. Cool, though. Bind soul? Octu? What do you want? Who were you before you were put into the sword? None of your god's damn business. You don't know, do you? You haven't earned the right to ask me these kinds of questions. I hardly know you. Who is your owner? A much better swordswoman than you, to start. Hmm. Uh, there has to be more to her story than that. How'd she come by those skills? Killing troublesome animancers, mostly. Behind Maud Weir's words curl a cat's mischievous smile. She was an agent of Dunnard Row, at least for a while. Her name is Ingfrith. Okay. Good, I was starting to get bored. Don't like that it's only for... The Watcher, because I'm certainly not going to put him in melee range. We have here grappling hook. I've been waiting for that. Yes, yes. Need a grappling hook real bad. Actually, I could still equip the sword. I'll just put it. There.
Well, that was exciting. I like this talking sword. Shame I didn't choose like a paladin or a warrior or something to use it. Even though it's not very good. Oh, hello. Alright, I need a uh, retarget. We need to go in the back here. Oh boy, we need uh, some wisps back here as well. Alright, you got teleported over here, so we need to come back. Oh my gosh. We're, we're hanging in there. It looks worse than it actually is. So far. Like, you need to participate. That'd be great. You have like 90 freaking... Uh, what's more color? Alright. Get destroyed. Sentere, I cannot. Aye, aye. Alright, loop, thank you. A light's foot and an heavy bullet, I cap. Old city, old hideout. Is this everybody? Honors the life of a hero of old. I don't be supposing we could uh, blow it up. Swapped in sparkling. Okay, more nonsense. A light's foot and an heavy bullet, I cap. Oi, oi, captain. More than my eyes be open. Got this map here. Figure out where we're going. Take a gander over there. I sees it. Down this way. I'd love it if the AI just didn't automatically walk over. Hazards like that. Wait, look there. Yeah, of course. Yes. Well, don't see why not. All right. All right, move up. Move up. Back up. Why are you casting that spell? I feel like I have to micromanage this party just a little too much. Alright. Attack! Alright. Just come back up here. You know what? No. Right. Coming up some wisps. 
13 seconds on these guys. One of those. Go attack the Skulldrak. Man, these guys are super slow. Dazzling lights. It's a push? That's all? That is weak. That is so weak. Who cares about a freaking push? Alright, get bodied. I have your AI back now. Let's keep quiet. But I have to not have to micromanage every tiny little thing that you do. Double check over here, make sure there's nothing. All right. We don't need to up the gamma. Can I do that? Uh, looks trouble okay, up ahead. Okay, I guess. Something I good thinking. Tread. Tread lightly. Alrighty, I need many whelps. Need wisps, which I 100% need to get rid of. Wisps are just not good. Alright, I need you to walk back. I need you to not walk forward. Alright, and you run forward. Alrighty, and everybody attack! Uh, why are you back here? Now that order's too tall. What do you need? Sorry, friend. What do you need? Hey, that was... Oh, too easy. There's something crazy right there. Look. Simple ruin. Gold track. Hmm? Well, don't see why not. Righty. Welps. Wisps. Need something stronger. Need something stronger. Alright, everybody attack the skull drag. Everyone attack the cave bat. Excellent. Of course. Definitely uh, putting in work with this this team. Go ahead and quick save. That just leads back up there. That doesn't go anywhere. Be cautious. Be constant. Oh, be cautious. I think I mentioned this already, but I've been listening to uh, a joint collaboration album called Contraband by Stevie Stone and JL. I guess of B Hood. I don't know if he's of B Hood anymore. I've been uh, seeing that, and they have a song called "Conscious" on it. Got the to die? 
That's a great song. It has a uh, flawless real talk on it. Got his mixtape. I went to a Tech Nine concert, and I think that's where I got his mixtape from. Okay. Let's back it up. See you, you sneaky bastard. Alright, I want you guys. Gosh. Hate this. Like, can you just move back there? Alright, I want you to move here. You move here. Move here. Alright. Now, I need many whelps, and I need them behind. You can go ahead and cast that. I want a Puppet Master on this Blight, though. Alrighty, for some reason you're just not attacking, so let's have you attack. Alright, we got the Earth Blight. We got the Phenomenal Flank. And now we're putting in work. Alright. I don't like your repositioning here. Much longer on this puppet master. Can we, can we kill this cave grub, please? Is it really that difficult? Alright, everybody kill the earth blight. I'm gonna need many whelps. Go ahead and bust out some wisps. Uh, I'll get I'll get a uh, better joke someday. I promise. Dude, this earth black to die. That order is too tall. Can we kill it, please? Oh wow, it actually got poisoned by your weapon. I thought the weapon doesn't do any damage. It doesn't. Just so stupid. I think I have to upgrade it. Ooh, you're getting bodied right now. Let's uh let's let's not do that. Is that everybody? That is everybody. Alright, get all my loot here. Oh, I see loot here. I don't get loot there. Primal Rock. Hey. Keeping an eye out. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's right here. Sure. Wait, look there. Great. Oh, well. That's a greater blight. Attack. 
Got a lot of focus there. It is no use. I cannot. Now that is useful as a bump on a pickle. That's horrible. All right, good job. Got a black plur plural. Let's just stop talking. Glowing purple spores. Alright, I was hoping for something amazing here. Then I got something basically equivalent to absolutely nothing. Be cautious. Be constant. Be cautious. I recommend the album if you listen to rap, hip hop. Uh, probably not, you know. Well, I guess I guess I need to be wary of saying that because hip hop nowadays is not my preferred. Preferred uh, sound of music, shall we say? I still haven't listened to a Drake project at all. I try to stay away from that because it doesn't really, at least from what I'm hearing, you know, and I'm probably wrong here. You can tell me I'm wrong. I'm happy to be wrong. Trouble up ahead. But uh, I, I, I hear a lot of pop. Pop or you know, maybe some R&B in there. That, that's just not yeah. for me. All right, I want you guys. I'm here. I shall. Move on back. Could be a big fight. You never know. Okay. Of course. Hmm. All right. All right. Come back. Feel I feel. All right. I need many whelps. And whisks. Hey. Ooh. Glad I did what I did, because that's a lot of enemies. Let me see here. You, I want you to go around this side. Me. Move you that way. And then have you attack. Like a reposition here. Mer complanca. Come on, everybody, get him. A tank is taking some damage. Not damage that I'm concerned about, but usually he's not taking that much damage. Do we have like a debuff on him or something? Uh, he has Envenomed Bite. Not too alarmed. I guess that's that's kind of doing work against him. Can you have everybody participate, please? Sign up. Gold. I think I might get rid of the... The stride. I don't know. This is kind of nice to move quick. Alright, well done, everybody. I am ready. 
Let's get rid of the stride, I think. I, oh, I, I had it there because of the reflex defense, actually. That restores health to yourself. And then does raw damage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want this. Let's try to do again. And it's just running. I mean, reflex defense is, is important, for sure. I don't know, whatever. This one's definitely underwhelming, for sure. We'll just run with that. And still. Eyes open. Still. Of course. Oops. I guess I've explored most of this area. Loot that. I haven't been over here. Expected. The elf jumps back as the door opens. She has her weapon raised, ready to attack, but seeing you, she lower she slowly lowers it. I used to court a girl who did that whenever I stopped by. Miss her. Oh, it's you. But how'd you get through there? She peers through the door, looking at the shrine on the other side. Is that it? She growls in exasperation, looking past you. <laughs> Number two is kind of silly. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? There's an old temple of Andra. Dario said it was just past this door. She looks around as if hoping to find something she missed. Uh, I found the old temple in a flooded spot where the fall meet. falls meet. Good work. I'll make sure no one else disturbs it. He claps you on the shoulder. Meantime, Dario will be pleased to hear the news. How about you go tell him and collect your reward? What does he want with the mosaic of Ukaizo? Her smile freezes on her face. Dario's the only one to talk about Dario's business. If I was you, I'd forget about this and take my pay. But it's your neck. He shrugs. A surprising number of people are interested in this mythical city. Tell me. Of course. Okay. This is the Jamba of Waves. That goes to the Undercroft. Are we done here? Still need to go rescue Homeboy Slice. Why don't we go to the old city? Overlook. Let's see where that goes. Maybe we'll find something interesting.
Uh, I haven't leveled up in a while. I'd like to level up soon. This cavern ascends, narrowly tapering toward a dim light on the other side of the tunnel. Climb through. I didn't think it was going to take this long to climb through. That's fine. Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, that's that. Well, I need to go back there. There was also... There was a variety of... There we go, right there. Well, let's go rescue Homeboy Slice real quick. Get that out of the way. Then we'll go back here, figure out what that light is. Hopefully it's a, a conch hell. Apparently we have some, uh, some crafting here. Ooh. Wire seven arcana. I, I have, I have that. I'm quite certain. Quite certain indeed. I believe he was up here. There he is. You haven't found a way out of here, have you? I've opened a passage through the ruins of a temple in the lower area. He rubs a stale smelling sweat from the back of his neck, face slack with relief. His eyes crinkle in brief uncertainty, but it ebbs just as quickly. Then I'll make it. I know I'd hoped, but honestly, I didn't really expect you'd help me. Uh, neither did I. Don't get used to it. Well, I'm glad you did. I owe you, friend. If you're of a mind, meet with me in Port Manje. I'll make it worth your while. Too sore to rush for it, he secures his pack with careful motions. And, with a final nod to you, eases out into the darkness. You're welcome. I am ready. Alrighty, now we need to go back to here. Find out what this uh, this light is. Also, quick save. Ancient memory heals Edder. Aladina casts ancient memory. Alrighty, we're going to dive towards the light this time. We're going to use him because he has athletics. Edder leaps into the pool and swims down. The water is surprisingly warm with an oily texture and a brackish flavor. Yet as Edder paddles deeper, the water grows colder. The light in the depths become brighter and sharper and a strange melody murmurs through the water. As the mysterious source grow, grows closer, muck clogs, clogs Edder's eyes, and a strong current pushes back. Despite the effort, Edder fights through the current, sustained by a deep breath and strong lungs. What is this? Strength? Might? Constitution. Uh, continue towards the light. Edder reaches the source of light and music, a glowing conch in the statue's open hand. Music flows from it as rich and deep as a baritone. Edder hovers above it, lungs just beginning to ache. Take the conch and swim back up. At first, the conch is stuck in place. With a little effort, Edder pries it from the statue's palm. It comes free with a pop and the radiance and music fade. Edder pushes off from the statue and swims despite the pain swelling in his chest. Edder kicks towards the dim glow of the surface. 
Yes. Better emerges and climbs out of the pool, enjoying deep breaths of the dank cave air. You hear rattling. The bones by the pool grind and snap together. Several skeletons rise from the mud. Wonderful. Sorcerer, you say. Summon that there. Summon that there. Okay. I need you guys to attack that guy. Getting bodied over here. Wish I could have done something. Well, that too well, nice, we got a uh, charm. Uh, you are casting Lay on Hands on a worm. I never want to see you cast Lay on Hands on a worm, ever. How about you heal your healer? No, oh, stop that. Why don't you cast, uh, cast that? Alright, you... Honestly, I... You... I'd rather you cast... Oh, you already finished. Uh-oh, spaghetti over. Can't have him die. Can we get the cast off, please? 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 Hello? Thank you. Alright, now I want... Those there. Oh, there's another sorcerer right there. To refocus your efforts on this one. Alright, we got it. Wonderful. Alrighty. I can't see what's going on here. Are you engaged? Where are you at? You're right there. You are not engaged. I need you to. Get out of there. Right there is fine. Alright. We need to kill that guy. Let's summon ogres. Ogres. Everybody go kill the sorcerer! Go get them, ogres! I believe! 34 damage, that seems like a lot. Okay, okay. Back down here. Just Indeed. A lot of whatever. Quick save. Okay, so I'm still missing something. Let's go back here, I guess. I believe I'm still missing one thing. Maybe. Hard to hard to remember these things. Walk down the cavern. I'll figure it out though. Yep. 
Okay, we want to go here. The old city. That goes to the undercroft. I don't remember what the undercroft is. I think this is the place that I forgot something. Uh, excluding the, the conch shells, of course. I think there was one more thing. Gullet Falls. Old City Ruins right here. That's the cliff steps. So, let's... See what this one's all about. I would, I would assume they don't go to the same spot. Can you can you grab that? Thank you. Survey says. Same spot. Kind of weird, honestly. But whatever. Life is hard. We'll just continue on. Alright, so we're going to make our way to the temple. Oops. I don't know what I'm. I, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with my party composition either. I I like the paladin. I I think the paladin's gonna stick. It's the cipher. Ooh, I need to figure out if I'm going to pick him out or not. Ready? Uh, place a conch in one hand. Actually, let's inspect the carving. We haven't done that. Cracks, mold, and grime vein the stone. The carving looks ancient, and it feels that way, too. And it feels that way, too. Smooth with wear. That's kind of weird to read. Uh, yet as you run your hands along the stone, you feel a cool whisper of air. It feels like there's a draft coming from the other side. Uh, place the conch. As you do, the thunderous percussive music of a stormy sea pillar spills out of the conch. It rises into a wordless melody that reminds you of voices heard from underwater. Conch glows, perhaps... It's just a trick of shadows, but the stone and hand seems to tighten around it. Um, place the second one. Then the shell slides into place, glowing as brilliantly as its twin. A counterpoint melody rises from it. The carving shudders, and something trim or rumbles beneath your feet. You watch as the wall panel sinks into the floor. I guess I'm not getting those back, am I? I guess not. You see that? All right. Good on you, my man. My fingers be fat and furry. Easy breezy, wet and sleazy. Okay. I need everybody to back up. Ahoy. My fingers be fat and furry, but they're ever so nimble. Okay, so we got Waha Poraga. This is a pole axe. Standard attack AoE hits primary target and up to two additional targets, friend or foe. Don't like it. 
Minus 100% melee damage received for 0.0, .0 seconds on launching attack. Actually, the, the AoE thing... Never mind, this, this axe does no damage. That is hot garbage. Uh, hey, nine. It's medium. I don't be supposing we could, uh, swapped in spark. Cat who scalth. Uh, minus 10% incoming damage from spells. Plus 5% incoming damage from weapons. Don't like. Plus 3 deflection improves with athletics. Grants soul strike. Interesting. This is actually pretty good. I like this. Oh, done and done. I guess. I guess Homeboy Slice is not going to get the conch shell. That's fine. Let's head back over here. That's okay, I wanted to kill him anyways. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Happy to, to fight it. Guess I'm not going to. Hale and Hardy. I don't know what that is. It must be uh, like a dwarf thing. One boy's gonna be so pissed. Dario. He's going to be pretty salty. Right, let's make our way this way to the Undercroft. Quick save. Don't quite like this, uh, this configuration right now, but stuff happens. Let's see where this leads. Hopefully somewhere good. A deep blue, choppy wa watered cove spans before you, widening down a cavern that leads eventually to the open sea. Waves clap against ramshackled docks, and the breath that fills your lungs is tinged, tinged, tinged with salt. Shouts from rowdy sailors pepper the air like buckshot. The hand or the deckhands lumber across the water-beaten docks ready and waiting, watching the waves that roil the cove. Uh, let's creep closer. Horse rocks grind beneath your feet, slick enough to slow your approach. You peer closer for a better view. It's then that Huana water shapers, as denoted by their robes, stride in length, stride the length of the docks, arms sweeping, lips moving, 
They swirled a turbulent tide into a calm, directed current. For a moment, the cove falls still and silent, as if caught in a collective, bated breath. Then, slowly, a slew of black varnished dinghies, sails lowered, row steadily into the bay. The sailors whoop, shouting a jumble of body greetings mixed with commands for docking and unloading the wares. The ship lurch, the ships lurch against the wharf and are emptied of crate after unmarked crate almost immediately. The operation is efficient and quick. With a shrill whistle, a dwarven woman emerges from the squat fort jutting from the eastern side of the cavern. Twice more she whistles before the water shapers reverse the bay's current and the ships are swept gently out of sight back to the sea. The sight and half that be cap. Damn near wets the eyes. Interesting. Renegade Water Shaper. Cause I'm a renegade. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't. Got a healer. We got some stuff going down over here. The captain of the Tidebreaker stands stiff-backed before you, looming despite her lack of height. I can't even see anything. Uh, her hard-muscled legs spread solidly apart, and she splays thick, calloused hands over her hips. She regards you with a heavy gaze, her chin tight lip, or tipped high. And who, or what, do we have here? Stubby fingers grind impatiently towards the flintlock tucked into her belt. Where I see it, you've got two options. You can tell me who sent you, or I can feed you the shaft of my gun. Rena's features are harsh, cutting. Her hair is drawn up into a large braid at the top of her head. Feathers and bits of bone, teeth and phalanges wrapped with ribbon, jut from tresses that gleam like red wine in the low light. You don't doubt she'd follow through with her threat, or try to. Streetwise. Annoy. Hmm. Uh, Annoy told me to find you. What for? I've already got an emissary. Speak up, Swabby, and be quick about it. My knife arm's twitching. Sting. Uh, your man, Ulog, is dead. I found his body. She lifts a hand to finger a black feather. Plated? Plated? Plated in, in her hair. But just as quickly, she drops back close to her belted firearm. You say ulog has got himself murdered? You see the body? I found him in the narrows with his limbs pointing every which way. The captain strokes the powder horn strapped to her thigh. She exhales a ragged breath. And you had nothing to do with it. Then I need to know how it happened. Her eyes gleam with a promise of violence. Looked like he was beaten to death. Her expression twists, face purpling with blood. Ulu wasn't any ruffler. He didn't deserve that. She runs a tongue over her teeth, regaining a measure of calm. Everyone in the gullet knows who Luke's my man. Everyone set the Mutaru. Gotta be them what got him. She hawks a great glob of spit on the ground beneath her feet. And though it pains me to say it, if the Mutaru are biting for blood, it's best if I back off. I can't be feeding the Raparu right under their noses. Hmm. 
What can I do to ensure your operation continues safely and secret to see the Ruparu fed properly, properly fed? Leave the secrecy to me. What you need to prove is that you can be trusted well enough. She winks. Say I happen to have a fellow wanting for a full shipment of crude luminous Ardra, but I have no Ardra to sell. Loot me no less than six crates, and I'll be, let's say, better inclined to do you a favor. If you're a particularly daring sort, you might snatch it from under their noses. Them valiant trading princox have a stockpile of it in their mill in Queen's birth. Wow, that's... that's asking a lot. Otherwise, you could raid them in shallow waters as they ship it in. Now, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, there is one other that tickles mine. Ply me with enough coin to wire fresh hands, bribe a few officials, enjoy a taste of flesh, and I'm yours. How much coin are we talking about? Oh, I guess. She ticks the various expenses on her fingers. 30,000 copper ought to cover it. Holy moly. I haven't even seen, like, half of that. The highest I've gotten was 12,000, and I sold everything I had to get that. <sighs> no, but I'll, I'll get you the Luminous Adra. The captain smiles wickedly at mad cast darkening her features. Always a pleasure, pirate in his. I'll keep an eye on the horizon for your prosperous return. Oof. This would have been a nasty fight. We're gonna have a quick save right here. Just, just wanna see what this is. Okay. Don't be supposing we kid. Uh, a trap. Blow it up. I think I'm going to get caught doing this. Furry, but they're ever so nimble. Easy breezy wet. Fine blunderbuss. One handed. Does terrible damage. None of this I really care to have. Sleazy. Does it do more damage than the pistols? No, it doesn't. What kind of what garbage is this? Its range is terrible. It's just terrible? Oh, it has four projectiles. Ah. So it does 12 to 28. Actually, pretty good. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to. Uh, Watcher, I must object. Whatever plan you have to ingratiate yourself to these pirates cannot come at the cost of the company's luminous Adra mill. Uh, well, we'll see. I warn you, if you act against the Valian Trading Company, I will make your actions known. She jabs a finger in your direction before shaking her head and turning away. Don't do me like that. I have no problems kicking you out of my party. You the one Dario sent down? This is a pretty big fort. Kind of crazy.
I kind of like to murder everybody here. Just because be so much experience and be so much fun and think of all the people I'd have to kill and think how difficult it would be. Just look at how many people there are. It's so great. I would kill so many people. They would deserve all of it. Ready? I see turtles. Yeah, there's there's so many dudes. Cargo storage. Here, holding pen. Oh, you guys have been having mutiny issues, eh? Oi. You back to see the boss. Uh, yes, and you know how she hates being kept waiting. I'll be escorting you then. Stick close now. Right, that is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. Back to see the boss. I'm here on other business. Then you best be careful to mind your own. Yeah, thanks. Fucker. <laughs> you back to see the boss. You back to see the boss. Yo, my dog. Then you best be careful to mind. You mind your own business. Like I mind my own business. Need to check yourself with those triggers, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go across this. Uh, use the rope to shimmy across. I'm not gonna bother reading that. We can, we can get that done. We're not all incompetent sucker foos. Well, I, I, I do want to go down here. I found something over there. Well done. See if I can get over to the other side before that other guy does so that he doesn't have to say you back to see the boss. Quick save. Going to Delva's Row. I do like the concept of that guy though. If we came down here every single time and we needed to go see the boss. Uh, it would be a pain in the butt. So, I do appreciate it. It's just, I wish he would only trigger that after he got put back into his post. Level up. Man, she has a lot of minions. You the watcher? Dario said you can pass. I, I bet he did. Where the heck am I? You are looking for something, I Nico. Perhaps I have it. Ernezzo. Ernezzo has not seen you before. You must be new. New or very good at disguises. Matt. <laughs> The man chuckles just like he did there. Uh, he peers at you through half-moon spectacles. 
His face is hidden behind a thick but well-groomed beard, and his eyes constantly dart between you and the doorway. Wait, but I am mistaken. You have made a few enemies in this place already, no? Most bold of you to linger now. But how did you hear about this place? Wait, no. Do not tell me. Sometimes it is better not to know. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. He leans in. I need supplies, bruh. Of course. Only do not tell anyone where you got them. Well, I thought he wasn't going to sell me anything. Oh. Might as well not sell me anything. 20% markup. Uh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Does he charge markup on retrains? Doesn't look like it. Um, I would try selling to him, but I'm sure he's going to shortchange me. So I want to retrain Palagina. I think that's it. I want to get rid of... Oh, apparently everybody leveled up. Ah. Well, you... I'd like to see your ability. Don't know how to do that. Guess I probably can't do that. AI behavior. Alrighty, so I don't want wisps because it costs too much. Maybe me a specter. Don't think the specters seem very good. Alternatively, I could just not do summons. We've been doing pretty decently without her having to summon. Well, that's something to consider. Or we could just leave her with the wisps. A thousand gold basically just to retrain one skill point. Doesn't sound very good. Alrighty, Arcana, Diplomacy. Oh ho ho, we can do dragons! And let me tell you, dragons are pretty good. Alrighty, so... We can get 2 max HP. Do that. Uh, 10 point all shield for 10 seconds. That sounds fantastic. Uh, burn damage, slash damage. That sounds great. Resistance to some afflictions. That sounds pretty good. This is the time it takes to complete a spell's cast. That is also pretty good. I have two abilities here. This... An offensive ability that empowers allies. I think I'm gonna go with the dragon here. 18 seconds. And in addition to the dragon, I will choose probably this one. Yeah, we'll choose that. Now we are just the top dogs. Alright, you, mechanics, insight. What do we got? What do we got? 
Lá. Uh, lá. Resolute. That heals, right? No. It's just kind of blah. Dominating the target and charming all others. This is what I've been waiting for. Alrighty. Begins combat with additional focus. 10. I dig it. Reduces cast time. I dig it. I like that one. Um, farther distance. I dig it. Okay, well. Uh, I think the additional focus is going to be better here. Just do a million more things. Don't like this. Airing me. All right, alchemy, religion. So you picked up wicked briars. That is a whole lot of blah. Uh, we get a revive. That's good. It prevents a severely injured character's health from reaching zero. Ten seconds, that's okay. Longer distances, that's nice. Is the effectiveness of any healing you cause by 15%. Uh, I like it. We'll go res. Probably rapid casting. Only one more person. Athletics, survival. We're at two hours right now. Okay. This one I've been using something. Guardian stance. Take less damage for each. He engages enemies that disengage from the fighter immediately attacks. Nearby, each nearby enemy reduces the fighter's recovery time between attacks. I like it. When hurt or above, a fighter's accuracy bonus increases. When bloodied or below, I like it. This one. This one is good. That's good. I don't know if I need it, though. Maximum health. Stuff. Or deflection. That sounds pretty good. I like that, too. We're going to grab that. And I think we're going to grab this one. Five deflection, five accuracy. And I've been using this one a lot more because it's a percentage damage decrease, I think. It doesn't say, but I, I think that's the one. Uh, I do want to get this. I think that's really good. I just need to mess around with this stuff to get rid of like stuff like that. I That's just terrible, and I don't like that. And this is... Okay, I guess. Anyways, we're going to grab that. All right, excellent. Mechanic skill too low. I am ready at once. Where the heck am I? I have nothing for the likes of you. My reputation is uh, not very good, apparently.
Like, well, probably not worth my time if my reputation is this bad. And where do you go? You return to the darkness and squalor of the alleys. Uh, let's go to Dario's hideout. And, uh, I guess we're gonna kill him because he's gonna be pissed off at me for not giving him the shell? I don't have it anymore? But we're going to have to do that next time. Because I'm going to go ahead and end the stream right here. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, I will be back Monday, 6 o'clock p.m. PST for sure, to play more video games. Uh, like 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be this one. Um, there's a possibility of a stream over the weekend, uh, which I might play this or another game, or maybe just another game. I don't know. Um, I, I do have some things that I want to do and I also have some videos that I want to work on um, that I finalize, well, not, I may not finalize, but got uh, the script to a point where I can either go off the script or I can just kind of wing it off of the talking points from my script, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so it uh, depends how, how busy the weekend goes. I got a lot of stuff to do. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, catch you Monday if I don't stream during the weekend. Peace.